Welcome back to day two of our food and fun adventure on Royal Caribbean's Utopia of the Seas. Today we're diving into what was arguably the best meal of our entire cruise, an unforgettable foodie experience, some spectacular shows, and spoiler alert, one of the best cocktails we found on board. So grab your life preserver and your forks because it's time to dig in. Today was our port day in Nassau, but instead of exploring, we decided to stay on the ship for a chill day. We kicked things off with a late start, felt so good by the way, and an exciting sushi making workshop at Izumi. So we loved it so much you guys, that we went ahead and made a separate video just in case you wanted to check it out for yourselves. I'll link that for you in the description, but trust me, it was a blast and we got to enjoy a mountain of sushi. After that feast, we explored the ship, had a great time kind of just checking things out. It was really quiet and relaxing since most people had gotten on off board at our port. So it was really nice. It was a nice way to really kind of turn the whole vacation into less chaos and more chill time. But we made our way over to the schooner bar for a cocktail. And let me tell you, I am so glad that we did. So cute. Oh, look. Look at oh, these. peanut butter tropic, Kentucky sour. Buffalo Trace. Here we've got aromatic and fruity, a desert pear margarita. We ordered our favorite, a mezcal paloma, no surprises there, and it was absolutely delicious. The new contender for best mezcal paloma on yes. Utopia of the Seas is here at the Sooner Bar. They did an excellent job. It's so tasty. It's very fresh and refreshing, but it, it actually has a good deep flavor to it, yep. which was... You pick up a little bit of the smoke mm -hmm. and a good complexity with the grapefruit and touch of the sweet, a little effervescent from soda water. So far, it's the top contender, but our search is not over. Just the refreshment we needed before heading back to our room to freshen up for our dinner. Oh, we just came... We got our animal. We came up to drop off some stuff. Oh my goodness. It's our first towel animal, and it's a Gertie. Look at it. They even put little eyeballs on it. Oh, I love him. Dude, he's legit. I can pick him up. Legit. Holds together nicely. <sighs> wow. Look at his little tail. Hi. Dude, I, I got very excited. I would say. Oh, you sit right here, okay, buddy? There you go. I love him. I name him Gertie. Tonight we have our second specialty dining reservation and it was Manny's pick, Hooked. Manny is a huge seafood lover, especially when it comes to oysters. And the moment we saw the menu, we knew this was a must do. Hook has a fantastic history on Royal Caribbean, blending fresh seafood in a vibrant atmosphere, along with fantastic service that makes every visit special. We secured a six o'clock reservation just in time for a fun night, because we have several shows we want to go to and a few cocktail places that we still have to check out. So let's, uh, let's dive in. So let's dive into this culinary journey together. Today has been just an absolutely awesome day. We decided not to go into Nassau. I know we're gonna go on a cruise now that we know that I can handle it. I have severe motion sickness, vertigo issues. Like I have, it's, I can't swim in a pool. Like, you know, people swim in their pools. I can't, I get motion sick. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. We've been having a great time. So we've been just kind of loosely walking around enjoying things. The entertainment crew, the party squad, whatever you want to call them, the people who are in charge of others having fun are absolutely worth every dime they make. Plus, like these people need a raise. They work their butts off. <laughs> and they hype everyone around them. Children, 
I've seen kids dancing with them. I've seen grandparents literally dance. I saw a grandma today enter a twerking contest, okay? Like, it's going on, right? And, and having the time of her life, right? Just enjoying herself so much. It's awesome. Oh, wow. It's good to eat it while it's hot. So let's see. It's like a really tender biscuit. Wow. Soft, tender, buttery, garlic, cheddar, salt, texture of heaven is all here in this little Texture of heaven. These seem like overly moist. Overly moist? Is that a thing? Yeah, it is. For me, biscuits are very, I'm very finicky with this. Like they can easily be too dry. They can easily be too moist. These are on the moist side. I ordered the Maryland crab cake. Correct. Being a gal who grew up in Maryland, we will really? see. You don't say. On the Chesapeake. What? That's amazing. It is amazing. So, this will be a true test, the Maryland crab I cake. Mean, first thoughts, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty oh, good. Oh, okay. All it right. It has a nice sear, a nice soft side. I'm hoping a sear on the bottom. It comes with a nice little sort of pickled veggie situation. A lovely, like a creamy tartar sauce type situation. She is looking good. All right. Here's the oysters, which growing up in New Mexico, which, by the way, has the worst oysters in the world. Um, <laughs> I'm excited about this right here. She said they were from Australia. She did. I want to ask more about them because these look amazing. I mean, that's a meaty oyster. It is a meaty oyster. Usually the shell is like huge and you're like, oh, I see the oyster A thousand in there. percent. Yeah, that's what I'm used but to But this is at. like... I mean, this guy's like, busting out of his what girdle. What the heck? And then your new favorite treat that you didn't I don't know. know you needed. I haven't even tried it. Oyster it's shooter. Tito's oyster shooter. I think it's like a um, cocktail sauce, Tito's, and the oyster itself. Yeah. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to suggest two of them. you add a little bit of um, black pepper to the top. Well, no, I added mine to it. Well, I'm going to let you start. All right. I'm going to try with the shooter, I guess. Never had it. It is not a sipper. Here we go. It is a, it's not an oyster sipper. It's a shooter. It is an oyster shooter, so it's a throwback. I'm not a big shot person, but I think... I think that the yeah. ship is telling you that's what you need to do. Thank you so much. Thank you, oh, oysters. more oysters! You're gonna be, you're gonna turn into an oyster. Let me explain to you, okay? So you have three kind of oysters here. I make it like a combination. For okay. You. So you have brie and champagne here. In the center is the Rockefeller, and then you have the leek and white wine. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. I have two more Tito's uh, dirty martini. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow. Bear. Did you survive your first shooter? I did. That was quite tasty. Although this was kind of slow to the party. Um, well, maybe stir it up before your next one. All right. Our well, server is a delight. This. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, she's. Mm. Of all the ways a person can eat oysters, just look at this table. As a oyster shooter, what element does the vodka bring to it that makes it worth that being the way you eat the oysters? I think nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad I tried it. There's hor the horseradish. They have a lot of horseradish in there, which I love horseradish. Oh, yeah, that's great. But I can get that as you mix this. This feels kind of gimmicky. Okay. Like, just add vodka. Like, I don't know why you would add vodka to oysters. Oysters it's a way are, are like oysters are delicious. I think they're I think they're hiding the taste of the oysters in the vodka. Because the vodka is really sharp. It's got a very, you know, alcohol. It's a vodka shot. It makes so. it a bit more approachable. 
I love the true, genuine, earthy, salty, yeah, ocean flavor of like a good oyster. And this is what I would expect. You know, you've got a good selection of different sauces for the oyster. You got lemon you can put on there, which enhances it. I'm excited about this. I was curious about that. I don't think I'll be doing that again. Might need to cart me to the room. I have this beautiful, literally called on the menu, Maryland crab cake. It's very thick. You can see the hunks of clumps of crab meat. It looks very crabby, which I will say, I, I have seen crab cakes that are a lot more bready than exactly. crabby. That's this the one issue. looks crabby. And also, Chesapeake Bay crab has a very specific flavor. It's not okay. like any crab that you have anywhere else. So as I'm pulling it apart, you can see I'm getting real crab. Look at that. So this isn't just breading. Like, see the flakiness in there? Like the chunkiness. Yeah. Chunky. And I would chunks. say chunky. Here's a chunk. Like, this is crab meat. Yeah. That so is that's a what lot you of see. Crab. crab meat. Uh, the, also, the, a little bit of veggies, a little bit of other stuff, filler, breading, yada, yada. Which but the 80% the ratio should be literally pure crab yep. meat. Very good. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a lot of breading. That's I mean, pretty awesome. Breading. Yeah. I'm tasting just crab and the seasoning they use. It's also seasoned really beautifully. I could have done with a little bit more Old Bay, but that's okay. And that that's what it looks like. I mean, I've seen them where it's like, they're like, what? There's crab in that uh, biscuit? You know what I mean? Well, like, let's be real. I've eaten crab cakes in Maryland that are crab crab cakes. From the Chesapeake. Yeah. It's all about if you're going to be stingy about how much crab meat you put into each one. The Let amount of you. crab meat in this crab cake, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm getting all that flavor. It takes me right back. And you know it's great Up if I'm Life on here. the Severn. Yes, indeed. Life on the Severn. Not only is it reminiscent of flavor, but then you turn to the side, and here we are on a boat moving through the ocean. And that is just... I think the perfect setting. Yeah. That is good. That is really good. So oysters typically have a, kind of a range of flavors from briny to buttery. This one is much more on the briny side. Oh, good. Uh, which I really enjoy, I really love. Yeah. And they're meaty and huge. These are excellent. These are excellent oysters. We'll try to find out more information about where they're from. Try about, you know, figure out what these are. But they are very, very good. Well, we know they're Australian, but other than that. Yeah. Because it's like a taste of the ocean. Yeah, I can see it's that. It's like you know you're eating something from the ocean. Fresh from the ocean. Yeah. For so. real. So try out some of these other dudes over here. These, okay. um, you got Rockefeller, something and something. Good way. I can't yep. remember. She said them all. All right, we have A, B, and C. Oh, look at you. Hmm. That was, I'm in heaven right now. It's so delicious. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right. This is the Rockefeller? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's very good. So Rockefeller has it's baked with a little cheese and other sauces, a little garlic. That was really good. Very good. So, just a side note. All the cooked oysters and the pre prepared oysters were excellent, but I saved the raw oysters for last. They're so good. So I have two left. Are you saying that like your preferred way to eat oysters is gonna be raw, on the half shell, 
and a little bit of lemon, maybe a little bit of the little sauce that they made. Yep. Right. So because you get more of the flavor of the you oyster. You get the true flavor of the oyster. Yeah. Like if you love oysters, you know what I'm talking about. Clarified butter, and lemon, lemon, perfect. Happy Manny. There we go. And because of the dining package, we can pick whatever we want. So we got corn, vegetables, and lobster mac and cheese. Right? Come on now. So, which I'm really surprised, or pleasantly surprised, that it's not doesn't seem like too much of any one. You know what I mean? Like the portions yeah. are. I, 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 like, I like the smaller portions because then I get to try more stuff. Yeah, exactly. I'm not looking exactly. to get uh, comatose to over one dish. No. No, you want to try I'd, I, I would love to try everything on the ship. Yeah, that's the fun, right? Throughout the day. I agree. Like a little tiny bite of everything. That's the goal. That's so. the goal. Wow. Holy Moses. Oh, there we go. There we go. You got the moves, you got the shoulder. It's like you got the chew. Looks pretty if good. If you know this feeling, you'll understand. And I apologize if it's crude. But literally the moment that hit my tongue, it was like a salivation overload. Like my mouth went, yes. And like flooded my mouth. And took all the flavors everywhere. Like it was just this explosion of flavor that was this dance between what this fillet was offering and what the capabilities of what glands could handle. Like it's that good. It was, it's perfect. Wow. Sometimes, and I've had, and you've seen on the channel, we've had meat where you have to give it a good chew, and that's okay because everybody that chew, you were bursting with more flavors of different things. Right, right. This is not that. While you are getting the burst of flavor, but it just hits. You, I mean, I, how many? I, I didn't even chew it for ten seconds. Like it just melted away. So beautiful. Awesome. Beautifully prepared. I am very happy with it. I will tell you right now. It's given the choice between, and I loved it, I loved it, but 150 Central Park and Hooked, if you're trying to decide on your reservations, if you like seafood and you like filet, you need to come to Hooked. It, it just, oh, there's agree. not been a loss. There hasn't been one downturn moment in this entire experience. And, and that's what you want. If you're going to go and you're going to spend the money oh. on a really great dinner, because gosh knows there's a million free food options on this ship, it better be banging, right? And this is banging. Like, all the way. All the way. All right. So, I'm going to try this grilled fish, which I got the captain's platter. So, it's a grilled lobster, grilled shrimp, and then a choice of grilled fish. Could have got salmon or... This one here that we'll describe down below, similar to the uh, sea bass. Or halibut. Or halibut. So I chose the one that's close to a sea bass, because I do love a well-executed sea bass, a little bit of butter. I haven't tried it yet with the butter, but I just want to try it straight up. It looks amazing. Wow. That That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It tastes like... Uh, it reminds me of like a trout type fish. Okay. Mainly because of its size. Like halibut, you're going to get a big steak. Right. Salmon, Salmon pretty you're going to get a big thing. steak. Yeah. Same thing. This is like a little more intimate. You get the skin, you get the meat, you get kind of some of that inner portion of it all in one bite, which yeah. I really love. So it's very good. Very good. I think I would like to taste this next because I don't want it to sit. Because sometimes if you let mac and cheese sit, she ain't, she ain't too cute. It is. All right, maybe a little salmon, or excuse me, a little lobster. That was delicious. It's buttery. 
which is such a perfect compliment like to lobster. buttery from the lobster? I don't know. It just, that's my overarching taste that that's I'm awesome. getting from it. That's really good. It's buttery and it's creamy and it's tender and it's lovely. The texture all works together too, which is wonderful. She was getting on the hunt right behind Love it. So first up, we have the incredibly beautiful lemon tart. I am so excited for her. This is the chocolate decadent brownie with ice cream, which is like, looks like a superhero island of some weird, I don't even know, Minecraft-esque? I don't even know. It's gorgeous, though. My cherry pie, which apparently is, one, is the last one. Oh, really? Yes. How cute is it? It's literally, I thought it was a slice. It's literally a mini cherry pie. Like a little pot pie with cherry. And a coconut cream. Gorgeous. Oh, baby. We're about to How did we end up with four desserts? That's what I asked her. I said, we don't even like I said, you know, we, we don't, don't even, even like, like desserts. desserts. But I love cherry pie. I love lemon tarts. And I really do like coconut cream pie. The brownie, right, I'm sure, chocolate. is very good. You love I the love chocolate. chocolate. So, brownies. let's do it. Here, hold on. I'm going to give you me. I'm not sure which one is. I'm going to start with the lemon because it's right in front. And our lovely server is bringing us coffee. Get a little bit of cocoa in there. Could be excellent. Let's see. Oh. Wow, that is a happy face. That is a very happy face right there. Looks like some good combination of flavors. I will not be sharing this. What? This is as no. if you had a lemon bar. So think lemon bars, right? You know, southern dessert treat. But instead of it being like that, a little bit harder, like dense flavor, like dense texture, this is more like a mousse type texture. But oh. every bit of that super duper citrus, like tank, sour flavor, and then it like washes again with the sweet. It is heavenly. Like if this, I would be 800 pounds if this like lived in my refrigerator. Or if I didn't have to pay a ton of money to get on a cruise ship and already eat it. And every time I cruise Royal from now on, I'm coming to wherever they have a hooked, and I'm getting this lemon tart. Alright, so I'm gonna try. This I'm gonna is a get a little chocolate decadent brownie. I'm gonna get a piece of brownie, a piece of this. Which I'm not gonna lie, to me it looks more like fudge. More brownie. Get a little ice cream. And I'm gonna get a piece of the ice cream before it melts. And uh, see how we can do this. Mm. Wow. That is rich. I love it. I really love it. With all the chocolate flavor in it is on the dark, tart chocolate side. Like, I'm not a big milk chocolate type person. Right. It's all on that dark side. You add a little bit of the ice cream in there with a the cool flavor in it. And the creaminess is excellent. <gasps> Very good. Oh. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. So, get some, uh, so this is a coconut cream pot. I thought it was going to have more of like a like a meringue, a big fluffy a meringue. Oh, key lime pie esque top to it, you know, that okay. meringue. However, it looks moist and delicious. Huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Here we go. That is pure coconut. Really? Okay. I don't know that they put any sugar in it, which is fun, because you're getting all the glory of a, a good dessert without feeling like you just had a sugar bomb. The, um, 
the creaminess and the sweetness and the textures all are coming from the coconut. But it's been served up in multiple ways. You've got a toasted coconut topping, a coconut whipped cream, and then the actual like mousse type cake that's inside is just coconut. But it's not sweet. It's not like you know, if you get a coconut cocktail or something, how there's a sweetness to it. Like, it's the right amount of sweetness that you would expect from coconut, which has a natural sweetness, right? I mean, it's really very nice. I like the lemon bar the best so far. But that lemon bar is like shocking, shocking on your palate. Nice. Right, this is great. the opposite. This is smooth and calming and like serene and zen on your palate. So, if you want to be punched in the face, by all means get the lemon tart. If you're looking for like something creamy and smooth to have with your espresso at the end of the night, go with the coconut pie. And then, you know, I don't even have to tell you because all y'all love chocolate and so you're going to order the chocolate one anyway. So that's fine. Dairy chocolate. Cherry pie. I, if I could pick my dessert for my birthday every year, I would pick cherry pie. It is the most delicious dessert in the world today. Alright, so this is not filled with the canned cherry pie filling that is like neon red. These are true cherries sitting in a beautiful sweetened syrup surrounded by a lovely flaky pastry crust. Be good. Yes. It's like first off, the thing I wasn't expecting. It's warm. Really? It's warm it okay. It is literally made of fresh cherries. And they have done a cherry reduction of some sort as the sauce. This is not what you picture in the world of cherry pie. It's like cherry jello. No. And, well, I like some tartness in my cherry pie. This one is, it, it doesn't lean quite as tart, but it's because it's just pure cherries. Oh, you gotta try this. Do you, do you like cherry pie, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. Mm. Oh wow. It's a nice, light crust, just with pure cherries, and that, and then it's like really well done. Yeah. I really appreciate that when you have really high quality ingredients, and you do something really well, and you just let the ingredients speak for themselves. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, the, the beauty is in the simplicity on it. Yeah. But man, it, really it is delicious it's gorgeous warm. oh oh the warm is such a nice touch and by the way I this coffee like is strong it's very strong and we drink ridiculously strong coffee like we grind our own beans every day like i think it's espresso i was gonna say i think it's espresso i mean look at it well and it came with like a nice foam on the top yeah but yeah i thought it was espresso too which i am all about
after that amazing dinner, we took in some of the shows. And let me tell you, don't sleep on these shows, guys. Each one is like 25 plus minutes long and the talent is deep and numerous. There are so many different people in these shows and they just knock your socks off. We were truly impressed. Couldn't believe the quality, the talent, the production value, the costumes, everything about it was absolutely awesome. I gotta tell you though, that water show, it, you can watch it on video over and over again. You will never ever be able to capture the scale the fear, <laughs> the adrenaline, and the talent that these people have. There is stuff happening all over the place. Dancing, diving, slacklining, tightrope walking, floating around. I don't even know. The music was really, really fantastic. But I gotta tell you, it's, it's something you just simply have to see to believe. After the shows, we topped off the night with a nightcap down on deck five. Man, today was absolutely awesome. I don't know if I could pick a favorite thing on the ship that we've done so far, but I will tell you this, that dinner will be very hard to beat. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate all of your support. I really hope that you found some of this information useful and that you also got to have a great time. We'll catch you guys on the next one. And until then, happy sailing.